Hi class, I wanted to talk to you about my diversity story is um, about generational diversity in the workplace. And it's something that I'm actually currently um, wading through, I guess is the right word. Um, leadership uh, within my division or group is kind of that um, boomer generation or Gen X generation. And I have um, several new hires that are millennials. And so as the videos from this week showed, there's a, a contrast in kind of that approach to advancement. And I wanted to share my experience with what's kind of currently happening and how I find myself um, in between these two extremes trying to manage my team effectively. So um, kind of the situation is uh, I have um, a person that's looking to advance. They are, um, you know, career driven and they're looking to um, be promoted. They, they have been in the position for a little under two years and come with relatively no project management experience. They're in an associate uh, level. And right now, um, the, the aim is to get them to that next level through um, demonstrated proficiency and working at the associate level and then um, the tenure. So the minimum required for a project manager is at least five years of relative experience. So to meet the qualifications, you would have to have at least five years. And this person is just uh, approaching two years, but feel that they are ready to be in the other position. So I um, have had conversations because the hierarchy, the hierarchy or like the org chart within our group doesn't show um, different levels. That was my suggestion for um, kind of approaching the need to feel like you're achieving something in the the area in between. Um, so starting out, you know, as a associate level one, maybe associate level two, associate level three to help kind of break down the time period that makes it more achievable. So you can see that you're um, making progress towards that next level, but yet you're not actually at the next level because the position's not, um, you know, you don't meet the minimum requirement. So it's kind of a struggle. I would love to hear your feedback on any other suggestions that you would um, make if you were the leader in this instance. Um, I'm having difficulty trying to to walk through this thin line because it is um, a, a difference of opinion from the, the leadership. You know, you're supposed to demonstrate through hard work and um, time, consistent performance, etc. But yet, you know, there's this need that I am doing the majority of the work of this next level, but um, how do you find that balance? So, um, looking forward to hearing everyone's feedback and your suggestions for how you would handle it. Thanks.